Hi there, and welcome into the eight ways you're losing money with a new patient phone call, and welcome into our podcast studio. If you've never listened to the New Patient Group and Right Chat podcast, please check us out on all major podcast channels. Just type in New Patient Group podcast, you'll find it. And also our on-demand studio. We shoot a lot of on-demand courses right behind me with those studio lights on. A lot of really innovative ways to grow your business, grow your practice in three key areas, leadership, team training, and online marketing. Uh, welcome in. Uh, again, my name is Brian Wright. I'm the founder and CEO of New Patient Group and managing partner of Right Chat. And welcome into this eight ways you're losing money on the new patient phone call. The next one is new patient no-shows. Look, we're dealing with just like the, the just like when you when you miss a phone call, like I was talking about. There was a time where somebody taking a message and you calling them back, it still didn't represent your brand well, but it was a time where it was fine. You, they're not shopping around. You know, dental economics. The Benson Koppel and a couple others have a stat out that people are calling upwards of five practices now before they actually decide which to visit. You look at that and you realize your receptionist and the way your phones are handled is in direct competition with all of these other choices. And that's what it goes back to. If you do miss one, they're going right to the next one. Or they've already called three before they even called you. So if they already called three and they call you and you don't answer, how do you have any chance of winning? And that is what we live in. The other piece to this is the way your receptionist talks. So one of your investments in Right Chat is me training our agents to be impeccable on the phones. We use the new patient group training program. You do get access to that eight and a half hour on demand course as a Right Chat client because we want your receptionist to be impeccable and understand how you must talk and communicate with today's modern consumer. It's very different. If you're a practice out there that has invested in phone training in the past and the investment was creating your phone people into data collectors where they're just a answering questions, collecting data and hanging up and scheduling the person if they're fortunate. If you've invested in phone training that taught you how to get on and off the phone as quickly as possible, those are outdated. Your receptionist now is your ultimate marketing and sales machine. They have to understand how to place more value through edification, verbiage and presentation skills, consumer psychology, et cetera, on why your practice is unique and why it's different. And that leads me into no-shows. No-shows is the second way you're losing money on the new patient phone calls, that if you have a new patient no-show problem, or if you just have a new patient that no-shows even once, the no-shows are directly related to how the receptionist set that call up. The receptionist, and our goal here through our training with New Patient Group with that course, and then how we answer the phones when you miss them for your new patients, our goal is to have that patient write a five-star review on Google before they show up. And it happens consistently with our clients. You ask how, and it's because the phone call and everything about it has to be unexpected. That caller has to hang up and you have to be memorable. They have to go to themselves, wow, that was the most amazing experience, most proud receptionist. She was so happy. Her verbiage skills were impeccable. She made me feel, uh, basically, you're getting the emotional buy-in from the customer, client, patient. And if you do it right, you actually can get a five-star review before they show up. But the point is, is when you do it right like that, people show up. It reduces your no-shows. So if your no-show rate is considerable and if you're not tracking it, your eyes should be all over it. Orthodontic practices. If you have 50 no-shows in a year and you can reduce that down to 30, that is 20 more. That is, that is 100 to 150 grand additional revenue you can add to your practice this year just by reducing your no-shows, if that's it, all right? And we call that basically the focus funnel. It's, it's focusing on little things in your practice, pretending they're your own unique business and making sure that business is better this year than it was last year. Reduce your no-shows. If you have a no-show problem, it is on your receptionist. They have to speak in a different way.